it's your girl Tony Time, and I'm back with some more Sims for you. And y'all, okay, so I was just about to play my game. Well, not even play. I'm still building a house. But so I was about to go in and build my uh, personal Sim house, right? And I saw that the game updated, and I hadn't stayed up to date with the latest update, so I went on the website to see what was going on, right? I checked um, today's upload, which was the... Uh, April 1st, April Fool's Day upload, right? And, and they could have been real petty with that April Fool's. I'm just going to say that right now. But anyway, so they put out the April Fool's one, the bug fixes, and they fixed something from wedding stories. I forget what it was, the, the marrying consistently. And then they also fixed the save issue that I know a lot of people have been having. Luckily, knock on wood, my desk is wood, so I'm knocking on it. I haven't had that issue. I pray I never have that issue because I would cry if I lost all my progress by not being able to save my game. But anyway, all right. So today I'm actually here with these new updates for this, uh, my wedding stories that they did yesterday, which was March 31st. I'm just finding out about this. I was going through this, y'all. I was on the phone with my mother. I was on the phone with my mother, and we were just talking, and I was telling her, like, oh, my God, Mommy, look at this. Like, look at all these updates. Like, look at all these updates or whatever that's going on with the game. And my mom, she, she, bless her heart, she told me, she's like, you need to stop playing these video games, right, or, or these computer games. Why did me being petty um, in undergrad years ago <laughs> make my entire undergrad um, final, like, project on The Sims? Like, I made a whole video on ADHD in The Sims. I'm a shinima. Y'all, that was me being petty to the max of saying, oh, okay, this is never gonna help me get nowhere. Watch me get an A. And I got an A and I graduated from undergrad. Anyway, that was me being petty for 2.3 seconds. Okay. So this is my wedding stories update, right? I was going through it and I started scrolling. I started scrolling. You see, I'm still scrolling. I was like, that is a lot. That is a lot. And I remember I was seeing on Twitter, people were saying, they were like, y'all, the pack don't work. We don't know why Sims put out a broken pack. And me, I really thought that people was not wilding, but like, I thought that people were maybe over-exaggerating a little bit. Like, y'all know it can't, it can't not work that bad. But then again, I haven't been doing gameplay because I've been building. So I haven't noticed. And I was just scrolling and I was like, this is a lot of bullet points. So I wanted to go through right now real quick and be petty. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, my wedding stories. It says we fixed some issues, you think? Damn! We fixed some issues, ceremony activities not working properly during vow renewal, reception, and wedding ceremony parties. So I've already read a few of these. I think I read like the first 10 or something, but I didn't read the rest, so we're going to go through it. Um, Sims will be able to go up and down, short, medium, and long aisles now during the gather at aisle interaction. In a wedding pack, you would think that would go without saying. Like, they didn't code the basics, really. Or they coded them, and it broke, and nobody noticed. All right, time for me to go petty again. So, I know that um, Sims stopped the release of the pack, right? Because of, of um, the Russia situation. Not, not that one y'all thinking of, the other one. The one where they were saying that uh, they were not going to release it in Russia because of same-sex love and things like that, right? So, I'm over here wondering, was the pack even really ready? Conspiracy time. Uh, was the pack even ready before they said they were not going to release it? And then when they went around and they turned around, they said, oh, wait, okay. Or sorry, when they said they were going to release it. And then they turned around and said they were not going to release it because of the the Russia and, and the YouTuber backlash and all the people on Twitter and everything being mad about it not being released and boycotting it, essentially saying they're not going to buy it, right? Again, hashtag conspiracy. Was the pack even ready? Or was it not ready and then you guys use that as like as like your buffer to say, oh, well, we're just going to take another week off, make sure it's okay and everything's in line with the law and blah, 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 blah in Russia and then we're going to release it, right? I'm trying to figure out what would have caused the game to have broken down if let's say it was ready. What would have caused the game to break down between it being completely ready and changing it to Russia? Because they said they released it unedited, right? Like, they said they didn't change anything. So I'm like, okay, if you didn't change anything, the only thing I could think of that would have changed is maybe adding the Russian language into The Sims, where, uh, like, like the dialogue tags and stuff, so you can understand the language. 
That is the only thing I can think of. Again, I'm not a game developer. Please, somebody who's more educated, uh, uh, make me aware in the comments. But if that's the only thing, that means the damn gone pack was not ready. Am I crazy? Am I, I might be. Uh, listen, I, there's a good chance that I'm nuts because I am not a computer person like that. But that is my conspiracy theory. Let me know what you think below. Okay, l next. Partners will show up for wedding events now. I cackled when I read that. Again, it goes into my above short, medium, long aisles will now work. That is the basics. Are you serious, Sims? Come on, y'all. Um, I heard about this, the, that the Maishino Meadows Center Park did not come up in one of the uh, suggested venue types. And so I, I noticed that fix. Uh, Sims will no longer set the bouquet aside before walking down the aisle. Same thing with Ring Bearer and Flower Pals will no longer refuse to walk down the aisle after running any interaction from the ceremony activities. I just think that when they said, uh, you know, that part, stand up if you object or whatever it is, if everybody objects, that nobody at these weddings wanted these people to get married. So I'm wondering if these were really good people or if they were just trying to save them from a life of uh, misery. <laughs> Okay, we adjusted our recipe for wedding cakes. They made them vegetarian and they last longer, which makes sense because food spoils in The Sims, uh, shocker, if it is not eaten. And if you are having a wedding party and the cake is eaten last and you've already had the cake out for the whole entire ceremony, it probably is gonna go bad because I can just see all these slow walking Sims taking forever like they were walking through molasses to get to the aisle, to get everything done and then your cake is spoiled. And then you have no cake and then it probably uh, screws up people's days. And I think that's one of the actual event, um, event, what is, what is the word I'm looking for? One, what, one of the events, event activities. There we go. I couldn't think of the word. I, I think if I remember right, that that was one of the event activities was to cut cake or to have cake. Um, everyone will be excited for cake and dessert at wedding ceremonies now. Wedding guests and officiants will gather at the aisle properly not now. Again, basic. The cut cake with sim interaction is no longer available on cakes that were already cut. Officiants will not stand there any longer, but will actually do their efficient job. Who can officiate? See, I haven't played. Like I said, I don't know if anybody can do it or if there's only certain sims. So um, I'm curious about that. Sims who spend yeah, Sims who bend to their spouse when performing a spousal kiss will no longer rub their ear into this other Sim's face, but will use their lips to kiss their spouse instead. Yeah, I read that and I had to read that like three times when I originally read it and I had to read it again just now because it still made no sense to me. I mean, I get it, but it makes no sense. It's funny. Some curtains have been updated to cast a slightly less dramatic shadow <laughs> when placed indoors. Okay, yeah, because that's a really big fix. Um... Sims will react more appropriately when running romantic socials while slow dancing going forward. Okay, yeah, I don't care. We added some clarity to the tooltip of wedding cakes uh, by including further details about eligible spots for wedding cakes to be placed in. Okay, so far, I don't care about the rest of these, so I'm just going to keep going, though. Sims will receive the not selected as a sim of honor. Oh! That's kind of sad. Or wasn't invited to wedding. All oh, sentiments only when appropriate moving forward. Oh, that's, you a jerk. You are a jerk if you did that. All right, let's get drinks is no longer available for child and teen sims on bars during rehearsal. What were y'all doing during rehearsal dinners, family gathering, or engagement dinner parties? Listen, but in some cultures, um, teenagers are allowed to have a little sip. Okay, of wine, a dinner, I don't know. Anyway, okay, gonna go past that. Engaged couples will no longer be able to perform wedding-related actions on wedding cakes they do not own. <laughs> wow, you just take your friend's wedding cake at their wedding and be like, this is mine now. <laughs> that is ruthless. You know what'd be cute? And I don't remember if, if I read this somewhere or if I just made this up in a dream or something. If, like, you can split the cake into, like, you know, the top part of the cake, the cake topper part that people usually freeze sometimes and then they eat on their uh, yearly um, anniversary. That'd be really cute if we have that. I feel like I read that somewhere or I dreamed of it. I don't know. I know that it happened somewhere in my head. So I just don't remember if I actually saw it happen or read it happened or if I made that up. But that'd be cute. Okay. Um, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Do, 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 do. Oh, Sims will cut their wedding cakes even if it has a cake topper. Sims will simply remove the topper from the cake and place it in their inventory before cutting the cake with their couple sim. Again, these are basics because we already have that as an actual interaction. It's just not a wedding topper. It's, um, birthday candles. And I'm like, again, it's the, am I crazy? Is it not the same code, but just a different word? 
again, tell me, somebody who's more intelligent than me. We also fixed an issue with cake toppers floating above cakes after Sims take a piece. When selecting guests in the wedding event planner, it will show all the Sims that are related to both individuals of the couple. Now, I read about that about how you could only invite like one half of the family basically i was like that is petty too so guests should no longer get uninvited after editing guest list with a sim who was not the original host for the event oh so you can like how you can edit it so i guess if you ever fallen out you'd be like listen you ain't invited no more linda um both couple sims will now be considered the host now guest attire dress code and color will no longer reset after editing a when a wedding event again i'm very i want to play this like i want to play this but i just have not had the chance hopefully i can finish that house soon all right simmers will be able to choose which aisle sims should gather at and sims gathering for recessional will be able to go up and down the aisles without issue now i guess that also falls into the medium well uh, small medium large wedding uh what do you call those things aisles not working we taught Sims some manners so they will pay proper attention to toast now and will stop chattering. We know it's a big day and everyone's excited, but that's no reason to be rude. Okay, I'm with you. Sims with a larger backside will no longer experience the derriere to clip through. Oh my God, it was clipping through the chair, y'all. Was it really? I don't even know which chair that is. I'm going to have to go look at it or... or I don't, I don't even know. Is that clothing? Yeah, I think that's clothing actually. But either way, it was clipping through, y'all. Really? Okay. When engaged, Sims perform the exchange vows and kiss or the exchange vows with officiant and kiss. Ceremony event. Sims will complete both interactions now and no longer forget about their spousal kiss. <laughs> They're so excited. They said, screw a kiss. We're married. Give me your money. <laughs> Put me on the insurance. Bye. Oh, God. Okay. We made some tweaks so you can expect more sunshine in Tartosa moving forward. More? Really? I feel like it was already bright, but okay. Officiant Sims will now give the wedding couple their full attention and avoid talking to other Sims during their speech. Again, rude. Sims will wear their existing formal outfits for weddings if it is appropriate, appropriately colored. Oh, so wait, if you don't have an appropriately colored outfit, does it just change that outfit to another color? Do they? Does it just randomize into another outfit of that color? Just questions I have. I'm curious. For engagement dinner, Sims will wear... Or sorry, for engagement dinner, well, for engagement dinners. Wow, I was reading that and it was hurting my head because there were so many capital letters and I had to figure out what the title was. <laughs> for engagement dinner, Sims will wear their party outfits and for wedding reception and the vow renewal events, guests will wear their formal outfit moving forward. Got it. Okay. We caught some mischievous gnomes who added super glue to wedding chairs, causing Sims to be unable to get up after taking their seats. We clean clean those chairs meticulously and advise gnomes to be more prudent so Sims will be able to get up to do other wedding-related actions after sitting down. AKA they were not routing correctly. We added some musical backdrop to accentuate to accentuate important wedding moments. That is actually really cute. And lastly, also we improved an issue with arms clipping during paired in dancing. Okay. Um, I think I said all the petty things I wanted to say already, so I'm not going to rehash them. Long story short, hashtag conspiracy, uh, Sims was not done with this. And I don't want to call it a cash grab because I don't even know if it was a cash grab. I don't remember when they, I think they, were, they announced it and then they released it like three weeks later. I don't know if that's enough time to make a pack. In my head, I would want to say yes, but realistically, I'm telling myself, like, no, Tony, you probably need to like, have more time. But then again, they're a big business, so they have lots of coders and things. I don't know. I don't know what happened with this pack. It, it, felt, it fell to the wayside. It fell to the wayside. I don't know. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, hashtag conspiracy. That is all I have for y'all. You know, do all those great YouTube things for me, please. Subscribe if you like, like the video, share the video, comment. Some school slip repeat. Oh my God, what am I forgetting? It's like Friday and I'm forgetting everything. And I will see you all in the next one. It's your girl Tony time and I'm out. Bye guys. Oh.